Everybody's been talking about all these concerns with the Patriots, but once again, they are the Patriots. Mm. They kind of look like the defending Super Bowl champs yesterday. How would you describe what you mm -hmm. saw? Man, it looked like it's mm -hmm. me. Hot take by me. No, okay. I, I mean, <laughs> listen, this is a 10-10 ball game with a minute to go in the second quarter. The, the Bengals fumbled the punt. Cowboys or the, the Patriots score 13-10. The Bengals get the ball to start the second half. Pick by 24. Goes to 20 to 10. The Bengals get the ball, throw pick 27-10 all of a sudden. It wasn't anything this offense. They're still misfiring on offense. Brady had six completions, six completions to wide receivers. And we saw some drops yesterday. We saw drops by their receivers, some missed throws. I mean, there's still this. This was not a clean, crisp performance by this offense, certainly in the past game. We saw drops by Edelman. We saw drops by James White. There's those are the two reliable guys, and so um, to have six completions. Now, Nikhil Harry was a nice bright spot. There were some completions to him, but still too many misses against the Bengals defense. It's not very good. Rex, it, Tom Brady threw for 128 yards right. yesterday. Uh, that's against a terrible Cincinnati team, against the Ravens, against the Chiefs, against the Texans, or any of the other teams they might find themselves playing in January. That's obviously not going to get it done. Do they have it in them to be markedly better? No, not playing this way. Heck no. We've been talking about it now for, I mean, months now about how this team right here, look, it's finally caught up. They can't get separation. You got guys that the quarterback is showing his age finally. He, he's slow getting up when he gets hit. He doesn't want to take the hits. That's what happens when you play 19 years. And by the way, two extra years when you count all the postseason games. Mm -hmm. Look, he's the greatest. He needs to, he needs to uh, get out of this game. Hope like hell they get a bye. OK, and then you're actually hosting a, a, a playoff game the second round. But this needs to be it for him right now. I mean, it, it, it's time to move on. Or I, I, the other thing is I've been calling this thing for a month now. Put an extra lineman in. Mm. All right, because you can't run the football Your right now. Your offensive line was bad. Yeah, bad. It, it, but it's bad. This Cincinnati you're playing against, for goodness sake. Yeah. Not the Ravens, not, you know, anybody else. So to me, put an extra lineman in it. Give Brady a little more time. That's what you do if you have an older quarterback. No, I think he only threw for 128 because whenever you get caught videotaping somebody else, you don't want to bury, the, the, bury them. You know, you've got to play a little point. gamesmanship. Great you got to delay a little bit, let your defense win the game <laughs> for you. Let's not have Tom Brady dominate, but I think Nikhil Harry getting into this offense is going to be something that's good for them going forward. Whenever you see Josh Gordon catch that deep ball from the Seattle Seahawks yesterday, you, all, you almost think to yourself, like, man, Tom Brady's going to watch that and think, if I had somebody like that, this would be a whole different story. Nikhil Harry, and that throw that he had in the back of the end zone showed a little, little sign of old Tom Brady where he had to drop it in a tight window look like an Instagram video. They did not look great on offense, but they still get a massive win because of their defense and special teams. Everybody's ruling them out first game. I won't say it, but boy, this sure feels like the potential end of a dynasty. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.